a phrase that I like to live by or try to stick to is whatever you do for yourself dies with you, whatever you do for others in the world remain and is immortal. Those people who find ways to voice and act on their values effectively are often folks who have reflected in advance on what they are really trying to accomplish in a particular situation. They thought about the kind of meaning and impact they want their work and their organizations and their lives to have. Are they just trying to get the highest bonus this quarter? Or are they trying to build a successful career and have a positive impact on their companies? and in their communities. Having thought about the meaning of their lives in this broader way allows them to tap into strengths they did not know they had. It also gives them language, actual arguments, which they can use to inspire and persuade the folks around them to act ethically as well. I know in the business school, a lot of people have a lot of self-interest, but in my case, I like to think that I can do things for others. Through my involvement in different you know, organizations, my work, uh, the career services office, I can make an impact on those people, on my peers. Giving companies and students the opportunity to meet together, I feel like I, I'm making an impact on someone's career. Even though there's 400 students in the event and I might not know how each one of them end, or if someone ends with a job or a particular uh, position in a particular company, I would like to think that at least one person got something out of that event and that their career got, I guess, changed because of that. It's easy to get into a narrow and short-term way of thinking when we're busy, overworked, and goal-oriented. But if we step back and explicitly take time to think about the meaning we want our academic experiences or our career experiences to have in the long run, we can find confidence and strength to act. And we can also serve as inspirations to others. So during my previous job, I used to teach some of the undergrad students about um, electronic system design. So at the end of the course, when these students came back to me and said, God of thank you, we really learned something new from you. I think that was very satisfying for me to help these students learn something new in life. For me, I think a lot about moving back to Nigeria because of the impact. There are a lot of MBAs to Nigeria, but not that many, you know. So it's definitely going to be like a multiplier effect if I did move back. So it, I do think about it, um, definitely, I have a plan, you know, short term even, to move back and be of more benefit to everyone. I want to feel like I've done something, I've made a difference here, and it's not just status quo, but it's just taking us beyond status quo. So um, you're able to add on to what already existed or even create what did not exist already. Think about times when you felt you were a positive influence on your friends or your colleagues or your family. And think about times when others were a positive influence on you. What was the type of purpose that drove those inspirational behaviors? Professionally, my goal is to buy or build companies, um, particularly in the high tech space. So what I love to do is to help create jobs and, and innovate, create new products that help people. My plan, what I'm going to do with my, the resources that come from that is uh, I'm working on a nonprofit foundation uh, to alleviate poverty around the world, which my wife and I have worked together on. I don't, I don't really care about uh, money or, or power influence. They help, they're good tools to get things done, but uh, understanding that I'm here, my, what I believe is I'm, I'm on this earth to help people and uh, invest in, in their success and, and to help them to, to live and to, to have opportunities in, in life. Define your personal and professional purpose explicitly and broadly before conflicts arise. Decide what is the impact you most want to have. This is the type of purpose you can use to strengthen your resolve and from which you can draw language for your values scripts.
and remember to appeal to this sense of purpose in others as well. Sometimes you're doing work and you may be proud of the recognition you're getting for that work. And then sometimes you're doing work and you may be actually proud of the, the work that you're doing. And I think that, you know, being in the second category is so much more fulfilling and so much more impactful than being in the first category. And, and really sometimes it's hard to distinguish the two. When I look back on the work, I want to feel proud that I'd, I've done something that has been constructive, that has been useful to people and society. If it, I get home at the end of the day, I want to say like, well, today I contributed to this in this way. So that's, some, that's how I like to feel. Once I get that feedback that I'm, I am making a difference in someone's life, it definitely makes me feel very fulfilled. Being able to say that what I do in my daily life, that I do the best I can possibly do, that I don't compromise the values, the integrity that I've tried to establish for myself over the years, um, and that I'm making an impact, tangible impact, in the lives of those around me and around the world um, really, really drives me, and that's what's important to me.